Hey guys, it's Sarah and today I am ready to do the next round of the I Was So Excited book haul revisits that I've been doing where I am going back and watching old book hauls and then I am picking the book from that video that I was the most excited when I hauled it. And if I haven't read it, <laughs> that's what I'm going to read. And it's been going pretty well so far. I have been getting through some of these books and, you know, moving right along. So I'm ready to do my next one. Here's why. <laughs> the last time that I did this, I ended up picking The Space Between Worlds by Micaiah Johnson. And this is a science fiction book. I started this book and I ended up DNFing it. I got about 30, I think it was 36 exactly percent into this book because I was listening to it on audio, which is narrated by Nicole Lewis. And she did a great job. The narration was totally fine. It was the story. I, I was listening and I just kind of just wasn't caring. I wasn't connecting with any of the characters at all. I didn't care. It was getting a little bit hard to follow because we are dealing with a world where you can travel to parallel universes and parallel versions of the same people that you know and love, but they're different people and they lead different types of lives in each different universe. And it was getting a little bit difficult to keep all of that straight <laughs> because the names were similar, but not exactly the same. And I was really just like, okay, but this, this person is this one and this world and he's this one and this world and the names are a little bit similar. And I was, I was having a hard time with that. Um, and I also didn't care. So it was kind of like, I'm putting a lot of thought and effort into trying to keep this straight when I actually don't even really care about the characters that much or what's going on or what's going to happen. It just didn't keep my interest at all. So I DNF'd it. Oh, which I feel really bad, but I just, yeah, I don't know. It, it wasn't doing it for me. So, um, yeah, I was very excited when I got it, but yeah, didn't end up being one for me. So this is one I'm not going to hang on to. I'm going to go ahead and pass this one on, but that means I'm ready to do my next round. All right. So we are going to a September book haul and this looks like a really big haul. This looks, this looks like a big one. I think I'm going to have a lot of options here. Okay, so uh, let's see what we have going for us here. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is not a small book haul. Okay, everything's fine. Oh gosh. Hey guys, it's Sarah, and today we are going to do a book haul. So I have long. a decent stack of books that are going to include everything that came into my house in September, along with a little bit in October, very early, I got it just yesterday. So I figured I'd go ahead and just add it in here, but. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with a couple of books that were sent to me from friends because I have the most generous friends on the planet. So I was talking to my friend Candace and we were having um, a really good discussion about productivity and we were both kind of going through things where we didn't feel very productive and felt like we were on top of everything. I've done a whole video about that. <laughs> and I told her that I had found a podcast that I really liked and I was listening to it and it was called The Lazy Genius Podcast. And I really liked the idea behind it and I liked her philosophy behind things and so I was listening to it and I was enjoying it and she had a book that came out recently and I said you know I told Candace that I was thinking about you know maybe getting that at some point and all that and then I'm not kidding you two days later it showed up on my doorstep because she bought it for me and that is The Lazy Genius Way and this is by Kendra Adachi. Okay. Um, I have read The Lazy Genius Way. I love it. I still reference it. I'm actually kind of going back to it a little bit right now as well. It's one that you can definitely kind of pick up when you need it. Um, but yeah, I have read that one. And then Lindsay from Lindsay's Little Library, okay. uh, she <laughs> spoiled me. I ordered a book sleeve from her and she uh, had shown me some of the patterns that she has because she makes book sleeves and sells them on Etsy. I'll link her shop down below if you guys want to check them she out. She still does. <laughs> but she had the cutest patterns. And when she showed this pattern, I literally said dibs. I want that so bad. Seriously, <laughs> I really, really want that pattern. She said, okay, I'll make you one. And she did. Um, full disclosure, I paid for this book sleeve. So it was not, the book sleeve was not the gift, but she surprised me with something else. But um, guys, they're puppy skeletons. 
How cute are I still are use they? that book sleeve. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. And this one looks like Riley. And there's Bulldog. Like, there's a Bulldog. And there's one that looks like a little Boston. Oh my gosh. They are so cute. And I just, when I saw this pattern, I had to have it. So she made me a large book sleeve. So I really appreciated that. And then, of course, in it, she threw a book in there. <laughs> which I was not expecting, but she got me Burnt Town by Jennifer McMahon. And I have not read anything by this author yet, but I really want to. And I know this is an author that she has been really enjoying and she just read this book and she loved it. So yeah. Thank you, Lindsay. Okay. Um, I still have Burnt Town, have not read it yet, but Jennifer McMahon, I have read her since. Um, and the one book that I read from her, I gave five stars. So I definitely want to read more of her books for sure. Um, just haven't read this one yet. So that's an option. And now I have some books that were sent to me from publishers. So this first one was sent to me from HarperCollins and it comes out, actually it came out in September. So it's already out now. And that is The Brothers of Auschwitz. This is by Malka Adler. Okay. And um, I have not kept that book and I didn't read it. So that one is one that did not survive our move <laughs> when we moved from Rhode Island. That's where I'm filming this. this. Next one was sent to me from Europa and this one is A Memory of Babel and this is by uh, Christelle Dabos. This is book number three in the okay, Mirror um, Visitor. That is book three in a series that I have not started yet. The first book is A Winter's Promise and that is on my TBR one of my TBRs. <laughs> I don't remember if it's my fall TBR or my, I think it's my fall TBR. I don't think it's on Spook Oplathon. It's on my fall TBR. So that's one that if I don't read it this fall, I'm probably just going to get rid of the series because it's been on multiple TBRs and I still haven't picked it up. So this is kind of like my last chance to pick it up the first book and see what I think. So that's not going to be an option because it's book number three and I haven't even read the first one yet. And this next one was sent to me from Avon, and this is a very Christmassy book, and that is A Princess for Christmas. This is by Jenny Holiday. I actually read that one last Christmas. It was fine. I think that was the last book I read last year. Um, I gave it three stars. It was fine. It was cute. Holiday romance. The next one I got is also from <laughs> Avon, <laughs> and uh, when I got it, I was like, Eh, I don't know. And then the more I kind of looked into it, I was like, actually, maybe I'll hang on to this. Okay. So that is My Last Duchess by Eloisa James. I did not hang on to that. And I did not read it. Not really my jam. So no. The last one that was sent to me from the publishers is one that I had never heard of before. That is Death and the Maiden. This is by Ariana Franklin and Samantha Norman. Okay. Uh, I don't have that book anymore. I don't even remember that. Um, I know I don't have it though. I think I was like looking into it and I was like, mm, I don't think so. So I did not save that one either. That is not in my house anymore. Okay, so now we're going to talk about what I got in my oh, book, book of the month, the month Here we go. boxes for okay. both September and October. Probably so that. for September, my pick of the main five oh. was Anxious People by Frederick okay. Bachman. Um, I read that one. And Loved it. <laughs> I love his books. And yeah, I've already read that one. For an add-on for the month of September, I wanted to grab a book that I kind of had some regrets about not getting <laughs> back in August when it was one of the picks. And that is The Night Swim by Megan Golden. Okay. I actually read that one too, and I really liked it. I really liked it. I didn't hold on to the physical copy of it, but I listened to the audiobook, which was fantastic. Um, and it was really good. I think I gave it four stars. And then I read uh, the second one recently, actually, and enjoyed that one too. So read it. And for the month of October for Book of the Month, oh my goodness, you guys. The Invisible Life of Adi LaRue by V.E. Schwab. Okay. Well, obviously I read that one <laughs> because... <laughs> You guys know that that is one of my favorite books of all time. <laughs> I love, love, love that book. So I already read it. I already read it. I did go ahead and get two add-ons. These add-ons for Book of the Month are two killing me because they're only 10 bucks. So <laughs> it's so easy just to be like, sure, why not? Okay. Um, the <laughs> one add-on that I added on is a second book that was an option this month, and that is Leave the World Behind. This is by Ruman Alam. <laughs> I DNF that book real quick. <laughs> I did not like the writing at all. I remember, I think I did a try a chapter tag with that. And I just, the whole time I was reading that chapter, I was like, I don't know. I just, I did not like it. <laughs> not even a little bit. So that's no longer here either. Which is funny because I just saw like the trailers drop for the movie coming out and Julia Roberts is in it. But I'm not really interested. 
for the, an add-on for the month of October, I added this without even thinking about it as well because it was already on my wish list. And that is A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. Okay. The- I DNF that one too. <laughs> um, I gave that one a solid try. I think I got almost halfway through that book and I... I had no idea what was going on in that book. I could not follow it. I did not like any of the characters at all. Like I actually kind of really hated the main character and I don't think you're supposed to. And yeah, I don't know. I just, I did not like that book at all. Yo. Couple of books myself. So this one I got on Thrift Books and it was funny because I actually had a $5 credit for Thrift Books and I found this book for $3, I think. And including shipping, I like I paid a dollar for this book basically. So my $5 credit was um it yeah. was free. So it was awesome. Um, that is The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen okay. um, I do still have that book. I Kobe. haven't read it, but that's definitely something that I need to be like in the right mind frame to read and be ready to read that one. So that's not going to count for this for sure. Um, gosh, I only have one so far and we are almost done with the video. Like I'm, I'm at 15 minutes and it's a 20 minute video and I only have one. So I don't know. I guess we'll see. I have a friend who subscribes to my channel and we have talked before and it did pop up that she had one video on there and it was an unboxing of a book that she wrote. She was getting like advanced copies of book of a book that she wrote and she was unboxing it for the first time. And I'm sitting there watching it and she was very emotional because, you know, she wrote a book and here's the first time I'm physically holding it in my hands and she was crying and I was crying. <laughs> like I got really emotional too. And I was like, oh my gosh. And then I got mad because I was oh. like, hold up. I have talked to this girl. I know what this is. And she did not tell me that she wrote a book. And then I felt a little betrayed. <laughs> and so I checked them out. I checked out her book and saw that she has two books in it. It's actually like a series happening. And um, so I read the description and I was laughing in the description. Like the humor, I feel like it's gonna be on point for me. And I immediately ordered the first two books. And then I sent her a message and said, girl, <laughs> number one, why didn't you tell me that you have books published that I can like order? And I ordered both of them and she was laughing at me. <laughs> She was like, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you. I'm like, no, you need to tell me these things. These are things that I need to know. So I was super happy to be able to support her. These are indie published, so she, or self published. She published these herself and they are gorgeous. So the first one is here. They are adult contemporary. Okay. <laughs> and then the second um, one is hustle. I have read those books. So yeah, and they were fun. They were, they were good. They were nice and spicy. <laughs> But yeah, those are by Jenny Bunting. I don't even think I said that in here. Um, but yeah, so, and it's a series. Um, I think there's four, but yes, I read those two. Oh, okay, guys, uh, that's it. <laughs> okay, that's it. So I only have one. There is literally only one book in that hall that I still have that I have not read. Besides the seven habits of highly effective people, which I'm not going to read that right now. Um, so I guess I'm going to go grab Burn Town by Jennifer Muhan, which I'm not mad about <laughs> because my bestie sent it to me and I definitely want to read more of Jennifer Muhan. And this looks very fall, very fallish. So it'll be nice and uh, good for the season, I think. Of course, I don't know when it's, um, oh, it's set in New England. Nice. Um, but yeah, so, all right, this is it. This is going to be my next one. So I'm going to read it soonish. I'm going to put it on top of my TBR cart downstairs and grab it. And then um, we'll see how it goes. But I will let you know when I finish it. All right, let me know your thoughts down below. And I will see you guys again very soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.